Welcome everyone to another weekly report for the real estate happenings in the DC market area. This information is as of the week ending July 14th. So I like to always look at what is happening week over week and year over year and to help you understand there is a difference in that data and it matters. <laughs> And so week over week is what's happening right now. And that's why I like to look at that. And we have to keep in mind though, it's you know a very small subset of what's happening. It doesn't necessarily show a long-term trend when we're only looking at week over week. And also you have to be aware of what season we are in, what typically happens this type this time of year, and was there anything particular going on the week before? So in this case, this data, looks back at the week that included the 4th of July. So that is why when we look at showings that were up week over week by 6%, that makes sense because the week of the 4th of July showings would have been down. So hopefully that helps you understand how I look at this data and how to analyze it a little bit. You don't have to do it for yourself since I'm here to do it for you, but I was a teacher at one time, I am a teacher at heart. so to help you understand how I think and how I do this. The year over year data is often helpful because that will give us a better idea of trends. And you know, compared to last year at the same time, what is the market doing this year can give an indication of whether we are in a similar market to last year or in a different market. So there you go, let's move forward and look at the year over year data for showings we're down almost 30%. That's a big number. So that is probably related to in a reflection of decreased buyer activity with showings down by that large amount. Now also, well, sorry, before that inventory, right? So I used to say showings were down because inventory was down, but we are now in a market where actually inventory is increasing. So in fact, this number does tell us that buyer activity is down year over year, because when we go look at the inventory numbers, if we jump down to new listings are up by 12% year over year and active listings are up 32 and a half percent year over year. So for a long time, we've been in a market where there was down inventory, down less, less, less. That has changed. We are in a different place in the market where inventory is increasing. Although if you watched my last market report, was it in my market report or was it in my Monday market update? I am not sure. It was in my Monday market update. There I showed a graph where while inventory is up, it is not it is still below where the average is so we are not out of the woods we do not have too much inventory by any means we still are in an environment of low inventory but the fact that it is increasing is great news so that's kind of the takeaway this week i'll run through the other numbers for you real quick purchase contracts for the dc metro area were down year over year that tracks with less showings, less buyer activity, and basically flat week over week. And time to contract has increased. I mean, these are relatively big numbers in my book because homes tend to sell so quickly in our market that to be up four days and up three days, I mean, is big. 24 average median, sorry, median time to contract uh, in the summer months is not terribly surprising. When I sell homes, my numbers are always less than that. So those just seem like big numbers to me. I'm usually at like six, seven, eight, nine max days on the market when I put a listing on the market. Um, and so we talked about new listings. We talked about at active listings. The median list price is still up. So that is part of what I want you to understand is that because we still have not quite enough inventory for the amount of the demand that is out there, prices are still up. Price is a result of supply and demand, and we are still seeing price go up, both year over year and week over week. 4.2% year over year, 3.5% week over week. Even though this time of year, usually we would see prices come down. So the week over week number surprises me a bit. The numbers for canceled listings have been so high every time we've looked at them, but what I heard from a colleague of mine recently is that might be a reflection of, frankly, um, the data being incorrect, that they're calling 
um, listings that sold might be showing up as canceled listings. So I'm just going to kind of ignore that data until we know more about actually whether that is in fact true. If it is true that so many people are canceling listings, my um, hypothesis there is that people are testing out the market at a price that might be too high and not getting what they want and they come off the market. So that's my speculation there. That is it for this week's weekly report. If you want to find out more about what is happening in real estate nationally, regionally, and hyper-local, uh, <laughs> come to Facebook on Mondays. I look at all of that information. So I do a Monday market update at the Homes by Mason business page on Facebook around one o'clock live each week, but you can also watch the playback. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.